Hey Coin Collectors, this is DC on the Big D Coin Channel doing another joint video with DC Coin World and Big D Coins and this is the 2001 Rhode Island, the Ocean State Quarter from the State Quarter Series which began of course in 1999 with Delaware. Well, in 2001 they came out with this coin and it is the 13th of the State Quarters. Uh, the 13th to enter the Union, and that is Rhode Island, which entered the Union in 1790. Rhode Island's nickname is the Ocean State, and you see a bridge in the background, that's a Narragansett Bay Bridge, and here in the foreground you see a sailboat sailing. Uh, and, of course, Rhode Island is a ocean state. I mean, there's ocean all around it uh, to the... Uh, south, and uh, it sticks right out into the ocean, so it kind of surrounds it a little bit. It does touch on Massachusetts, and it does touch on Connecticut. All right, it says, Rhode Island's top e pluribus unit at the bottom, 2001, and of course you know that this is a George Washington state quarter, the second version where they have the John Flanagan, William Cousins, initials underneath. United States of America above George Washington, quarter dollar below him. This is a Philadelphia mint one. Liberty under his chin and God we trust behind him. This is a copper nickel clad copper coin. Um, and it weighs 5.67 grams. It's 24.26 millimeters in diameter. Now I said who was the engraver of the front of this coin, the two engravers, William Cousins, uh, and working on the John Flanagan design. But I should also tell you who the engraver of the back of the coin was. And let's see if we can see those uh, initials on here. Um, and the engraver of the back of the coin, um, and these, some, many of these were part of a, um, part of a uh, competition. But this one was actually done by Thomas D. Rogers, and there's the TDR. And if you tip this coin up just right, ooh, let's see where we can show you where it is. There's a TDR right here, Thomas D. Rogers, and he was the engraver of this coin. Now, 13th, that's the unlucky one, right? No, the 13th was one of the best ones because 13, this was the last state to join the original Union. So when you see the 13 stars on the original American flag, Rhode Island is one of those stars uh, because Rhode Island was one of the circle of 13 who joined the Union. And what happened was uh, the we needed um, nine states uh, for it to be a United States. And we did get nine states, but uh, Rhode Island uh, came in... Uh, and they all were invited in 1790, and Rhode Island became the 13th state of the original 13 colonies. All right, so this is a Philadelphia mint coin. We know at Philadelphia that year, they made 423 million. They also made them at Denver. And this is a Denver mint coin, and you can see this pretty good um, mint marks that year. This is a Denver D here. At Denver, they made 447 million. So they made about 20 million more at Denver. And then they also made these coins in two different varieties. And I'll show you this. Oh my goodness. Now you can really see the TDR and the initials here. And look at what Thomas D. Rogers did in this engraving. He is a great engraver, by the way, and you'll see him on some other coins also. Um, same thing, Rhode Island at the top. If we tip this up, we can see that this is in fact not the silver version. This is the um, copper nickel clad copper San Francisco proof version. We knew it was a proof version just by looking at the back, but when we get onto the front, we, we see the S where we expect it. Um, United States of America, George Washington facing to the left, quarter dollar coin. This coin is worth um, right around four to five dollars uh, in this condition. Um, if you get this in a silver version, it's worth nine to ten dollars. It'll also just uh, have an S on it for San Francisco Mint, but if you tip the silver version up, you'll see that it is all silver through here um, and does not, it has the same number of reads, um, uh, the 119 reads, but it uh, does not have the copper center, which is on these coins. All right, so 
one of the things that happened um, when they brought these coins together was that they they had to do these over a number of years. And so what they did was they put out five each year. So in 2001, they started with um, uh, the New York quarter, and then they went to the North Carolina quarter. Uh, Rhode Island quarter um, was uh, the fourth one that year. Uh, the Yeah, the fourth one that year. And then v the Vermont quarter came out that year also. And uh, let me get that wrong. The Vermont, the Rhode Island quarter was the third quarter that year. Vermont uh, came out next and Kentucky was after that. And I'll actually show you the Vermont because we're going to do a video on that. And that's a beautiful coin. That's the Vermont uh, 2001, the 14th state in the Union. And this is the Kentucky, the 15th state in the Union, uh, 1792. And that's the 2001 version. All right, that's all we have today from DC Coin World and Big D Coin Joint uh, Coin video. And we'd love to have you subscribe to our channels and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.